everybody, welcome back to episode. Uh, so we're on. It's on. It's on. The, it's, on the, it's on the title. Who cares? Yeah, check, check, what eight? That's great. That's awesome. So. It's now fall. I'm Jim in the pumpkin spice of my life. Mark is over there. Hello, pumpkin spice hello. of my life. Oh, look at that. oh my it, god! I gleamed. I gleamed. Well, it's because I don't understand why everyone likes them so much. Yeah. I don't either. I'm not pumpkin spice. I'm like, like fungus. I grow. I just you know I just don't go away. And of course, Kayla's with Truly. us. All right, what we got going on? Uh, normally, we ask what's been going on, but we're actually recording two episodes tonight. So, oh my god, he's giving away our secrets. Yeah, giving away secrets. So, what have you guys been doing you the just last? Want to give him my minutes? address now, too. <laughs> <laughs> no. Talking smack about you. Talking smack about Mark eating on the third pretzels. house on the right. If you miss it, no, just two more steps. Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right. All right. So my conversation for right now and today. So the internet. So I watch a youtube series called good mythical morning it's good wait good mythical morning good mythical morning it's two friends from north carolina who started their youtube channel just shooting the shit and just making videos and doing researchy stuff and all that kind of stuff and now i think it's 10 years later they're still making these videos and they get bigger and bigger well they have developed this brand that they are wholesome, that they don't swear. It's a family-friendly show. <laughs> so starting last year, they decided to do Good Mythical Evening. So it was a paid event. You had to pay money to get into it. And it was a 21 and older kind of sure. thing. Um, and it was vulgar. And this year was way worse. I was just like, oh my god. <laughs> it was way worse. So... With that, would you ever do something like that? If your favorite like artist or comedian or anything like that had you pay for a show online to watch, would you do it? Yes, because I'll go back to Bob Saget. Oh, so hell yeah. Bob Saget was everybody's dad. Full house. Danny Tanner. Wife died. The golden, oh my God, I want, this is who I want my dad to be. Mm-hmm. And then he's talking in his freaking stand up. Oh, yeah, I fucked Kimmy Pickler. And I fucked him. And you're like, you're oh, like, no. you're like wow, dude, really? God, man. You're Kimmy like, Kibler. Holy. And the first time I heard it, I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, this is, it's a two totally different thing. So. Well, yeah. And I think that was a, a lot of people's like surprise when, like you said, he was Danny Tanner, and then his stand up would come out, and these people are like, Oh my God, I can't. <laughs> like, even when he passed away, a lot of people were like, Well, remember that joke he made about whatever? And it's like, No, like, you don't understand the difference between Danny Tanner as a character in the 90s versus Bob Saget, who was a dirty ass motherfucker. That's what I'm trying to see. Are there anybody else that have made that kind of leap? They've all taken back leaps. Eddie Murphy, Jim Belushi. I mean, they all took back leaps to family movies and stuff. I I don't know if um, Bob Saget ever like leaped. I think he just kind of let out his. Yeah, I play this character, Danny Tanner, who he can you know squeaky clean. This is who I really am. You know, when he's doing stand up. Oh, I loved him. I mean, I I learned a lot of my jokes from him, man, from Bob Saget. <laughs> yeah, I was very sorry. So your Bob your question is: Is there anyone that we would pay to watch? Yep. Because hmm. then this leads into my next hmm. part of this situation. Well, I wish here. you would have shown Mark at least one. What's the criteria on, on pay to watch again? What do you mean? Uh, are you just saying any comedian? Yeah, anybody. Oh, Jerry Seinfeld again. If it was an online thing, like you're not in person, oh. you're not watching him like in person. You're sitting in your couch watching a live stream of him. Peter Griffin from the and from that's family. Not Seth MacFarlane, though. Seth the, yeah, that's a great call. Seth MacFarlane. I've heard probably you would pay to watch him. I, his because he is he grew up this. He's the same age, and for some reason, I think of all his slapstick jokes as hilarious. So, a pay per view event, you would pay to watch. I would probably see Seth MacFarlane, and I love his movies, Ted and Ted Two, and I mean, I, I love, and then A Thousand Ways to Die in the West, freaking hilarious freaking movie. I never, I never saw, saw that one. Oh my god, it, it's, you love it, it's 80 slapstick, I probably, slapstick. I probably you would. I probably would. But A Thousand Ways to Die in the West, I, I love his hilarious. series, Yorville, it's not as slapstick funny. Yeah, I mean, I don't like it as much good. as the other, but I love Family Guy, I, lo- I love American Family, I love, you know, I love 
that type of McFarland hit us up. I just Seth McFarland, come on, spend twenty minutes with us in front of our two hundred people. Come Someone on. tag Seth McFarland and how much Mark loves it. I do. I do too. I do. I too. love that one episode of Gilmore Girls. And that he Seth McFarland, if you do turn this on. Do the Naked Gun movies. Uh, whatever you got to oh. do, if that rumor is true, Seth, like I know you. Hey, Seth, me and you are going to go hang out. <laughs> yeah. Mr. McFarlane, do, <laughs> do the Naked Gun movies, please. And let me be a part of it in any way as an extra or anything, please. Are, it, like, is he acting in them or is he going to direct them or write them? Well, or? I don't know if he's acting, but Liam Neeson is going to be Mc, uh, Lieutenant Drebin. Mm. I, I hope you hear this. And I, that's all I've heard. So I'd love more information about it. And again, if I could be an extra, let me know, please. Our Warped World, I'd love to be an extra in that. You don't have to pay me. It'll just be on the up and up. All right, Dad. Um, I'm cheap. I'm cheap. I, uh, I imagine that. <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I, I have trouble paying the amount to go see concerts that, yeah. that they're asking this now. This is true. Uh, I, I I'm, I'm very cheap. I just uh, I don't think anyone's worth that much money. Okay, so I would not pay to see you. I know. Are no, you no, no, no. I'm at because I don't want to interrupt. Because I don't want to. Thank seriously, you. I don't want to interrupt. So uh, I've always wanted to see Trans Siberian Orchestra. Okay, we yeah. should go. I did. I just oh. bought pre tickets for me and Holly, and, but they were two hundred and seventy eight bucks for two of them. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, see, that... But I will wait, admit wait. that I'm put say, bringing on, Holly on. to the floor. We're sitting on the floor of it yeah. and stuff. There were tickets up top for like fifty nine bucks. Okay. Yeah. But you know, but I've always wanted to see them. And the Cardinals are on a buy, and we're seeing them at three o'clock. As I got to the presale, I want got on a Sunday, but because the Cardinals are on a buy, they are. That's yeah. But no, I've kind of I, I want to see them too. But then again, I only like like two of the songs, so right. I'm gonna like I, yeah. I think the spectacle and the lasers and the show yeah. that they put on behind the music, I think, would be worth it. Because there's they, actually like 20 musicians that are trans and they travel all over the place. So when I worked at Dave and Buster's, they supposedly went in there like after their concert whatever year it was before i was there or it was a different location i don't remember they supposedly went in there and like had dinner did whatever like all of them they ended up tipping everybody like two hundred dollars or something like all of the staff not That's just cool. the waiters nice. and stuff very nice yeah i i was like damn i need that to happen they just got 278 dollars for a pair of tickets they can afford to do that <laughs> okay well, then that, well then that, like, that does, that's not that bad though that's what like a hundred were like yeah and we yeah. have floor seats and, and even then floor. it's probably like a hundred and ten per thing and then all the charges that the stadiums add yeah. on yeah. so yeah and that's where the problem is is all the service charges so who mm-hmm. would you okay we don't i guess since you're we pretty much know you're not going to do a comedian is there somebody or something that you would actually splurge for to go see live? Disney on Ice is all you do. With me. I would love to you go get to the, Disney on Ice get as an Google, adult. The Google uh, discount or whatever you get on that. Uh, boy, you're putting <laughs> me on the Google, spot here. These, see, these are questions we're supposed to email each other earlier, so I have an answer real quick. No, because it's good off the top of your head. <laughs> on the fly, on the fly. No, because like I said, uh, you know, I even struggled going to, to Garth Brooks the last time. Well, you, we know you paid cheap, for the tickets because I'm to get cheap. Over the cheapness. So I, ju- I just don't think there's anyone that I think is worth <sighs> that much money for. No, see, Garth Brooks, to me, like when I found out that he was coming here, I was like, I have $200 left on my credit card. What are you doing this weekend? And he's <laughs> like, I'm good. I'm fine. So I bought the tickets and he's like, oh, fuck, I have a wedding that weekend. So then we had to sell my tickets and get shitty seats. I will say straight up shitty seats. All right. You two's doing a residency in Vegas and I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait to go. I will pay to go see you two in fucking Vegas, man. Yeah, I see Garth was in Vegas for a year. But I'll splurge on that. Mm -mm. All right. So this brings me into my next thing. Dun, dun, dun. So I watched the and This it always sounds creepy. Like, how did we get to this point in the world where I watch someone on the internet, like, play a game or... I actually like it because I don't like playing video games because I'm so bad at them that I like watching people play video games. I always would make my mom play a video game and sit there and watch it with or watch her play it or even my dad play a video game. Ultimately, so Twitch. There's a guy on Twitch that I've watched multiple times now and he does a thing called a -a subathon. Ultimately, he will put one hour on the clock and then for however much money you donate or like How Twitch works, they have, like, bits that translate into money. So if you donate this money, it adds money onto the timer. Home Dog has now been going for 12 days, 13 days straight. And he's been on camera the whole time. And everyone just keeps adding money onto the account, or onto the timer. And what does Does he he do? Yep, he sleeps on stream. Oh, all right. So he will either 
play games. He'll watch. Does he work? No. This is his job. People are paying him to be on camera, so that's his job. Can he leave the apartment? Yeah. He was at Top Golf yesterday. Yeah, he takes the camera with Tuesday. him. He's all done on his iPhone, and he goes to Top Golf and plays. And people are paying to watch this guy on play Top Golf. Keep this golf. stream going for as long as it has, because I thought he. This is the third time that he's done it, and this one was a little bit questionable because normally out the gate, everyone's like, "We're getting that timer up," and it's like for a good four or five days, the timer just stayed at six hours. Six hours, it would get down to like an hour and a half left. Somehow we'd get it back up to six. And when I say we, yes, I have donated. I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> what did you watch? I mean, so it's ultimately, like I said, I mean, the Top Golf thing was funny because he had his friends there. So his friends were like interacting with the chat. So they were all fucking around with us. So it was like a breath of fresh air for the chatters because we didn't have to deal with grumpy asshole. But like he gets drunk. All the time. So he'll get kind of crazy when he's drinking. You know, but he'll play different types of games. Like, he found one game that you're supposed to outdrink the devil or something like that. His game is called After Party. I didn't think it was going to be as good as it was. But this whole, and this is a spoiler, this came out in 2019. So, I mean, it's still fairly new if you guys want to play it. So, spoiler alert. Ultimately, this game turned out to be about alcoholism, and, like, you're trying to send the devil to rehab to, <laughs> I don't know, like, rehab his alcoholism. And what's this guy's name? The guy that I'm watching is Bar None. There's Bar more? What do you mean? There's more people doing this? People do this all the time. Why don't I just do that? I'll I just know. sit here. So, and that's what I'm, I'm bringing this idea to you guys, because I know for sure you, the your reaction for sure, you've never heard of it. He's, no. He's heard of me talk about this guy because I will sit there and not watch him 24-7 because obviously, like, I still have a life to live. If I'm at work <laughs> and does. I have nothing to do, I'll put it on there. For what, though? Just to watch what he's doing. Because you're waiting to see what might happen? Yeah, and then it's also funny to watch the um, timer go up because he gets super mad about it. So that's ultimately the thing, too. Is because that, they're like, adding more and he's got to stay on it longer? Yeah, because he's, he's hit his goal. And now he wants to end, and people keep adding time. So now mm-hmm. it's like, oh, we're going to piss this guy off and add more time. He's he's not pissed. He's making money. He and he could just shit. turn it off at any time and just end it. Not necessarily, because I mean. No, it, you're, you, you when could. you're doing something like that, you, you've kind of got this contract. If you say, I'm going to do this for so much money, if mm-hmm. you don't, they can turn around to you. You could say, put it back yeah. in the contract and go, on March 1st, I'm reevaluating <laughs> this. But I, and I mean, that just means, I really feel like he would lose a lot of the community that he ha- that he has if he did that what community he does nothing no but he has a community but he of has people. a community of people that how watch did, I, but I, I, this is what i think is wrong with the generation <laughs> get out and go do why are you watching somebody do nothing he's go not out and do he's something. not necessarily not doing anything he's playing video games or he's talking we said we freaking watched football all day on sunday and i was I was like listening, but it was not paying attention because I didn't care. But, but I mean, do you understand? he's interacting okay, no, wait, with wait. people. So here's the thing, though, Mark. We we come on here an hour a week, and we want people to listen to us. This guy gets people to pay him to stay on stream. To stay on stream, he's doing his podcast, which ends up being twelve days long, and people are paying him to do it. It's amazing. Yeah. I I don't know. I don't know if I see it that way because to me, that's just asinine. You're, it's, but if you're it's making, asinine the people that are paying to watch this person. Right, but the, the guy's making money. It's it just how dumbed down money. America has become. But then again, I mean, if he does a lot for the community and stuff like that, and so he donates a lot of the money, like in the last subathon, not this one, he hasn't. How that much I did know. you pay? I've donated probably like 50 bucks. And that's like spread out between the 12 days so far. To what does add it take? In. 50 cent donations, quarter? Nickel. No, you can do as much as you want. Supposedly, I wasn't watching because I was asleep. Supposedly, someone donated like $750 the other night. And how, how long does, um, how much does it cost to get an extra hour with him? So it's, it just depends. He usually will set it at like a certain amount of time and then we'll, he was doing power hours, but this one was so different that he boosted the times and they've just been that same thing. So you don't, I think it's like $5 adds two minutes and 30 seconds to the timer. I just, I just cannot, fa- and I, I know I'm not the only one 
of our 25 listeners that think this. Guys, does anybody else think that's just stupid? I mean, it's just, it's it stupid. Though? Okay, it so what, what are you asking is stupid, it's though? It's stupid that I am spending my time watching somebody do nothing. Nothing. Yeah, oh, oh agree. That is agreed. where I... No, it's smart on the guy, but we are the idiots... Watching this person do nothing when you have a whole life to live. Not necessarily, because like right now, I literally just pulled him up. He has 16 hours left on the clock, and he's playing a video game. So, but th- th- this is my point exactly. That's all you're watching. He's doing nothing, but he's reacting to the video game, and he's playing it. Well, but if he's, it's like a real life Sims. Remember the the, the video game The Sims. Oh, you're, absolutely. You're watching a I real life Sims, Sims is what you're doing. Not necessarily, because I can't tell him what to do. No, because this this guy is is entertaining people. I'm not the only no, one thinking. No, that no, no, no. Don't get me wrong. I agree, with you, but that's what the world is. Uh, no, no good movies out. No, no good TV shows out. I'm going to see what people are doing, and it's the voyeurism of, of life. People want to see how other people live their lives. It was the Truman Show. That's basically yeah, what you yeah. do. It's the Truman it's, Show. That's exactly. And this guy's making bank. Being in a Truman Show. He literally said, I think it was on the last subathon or the first one, that he made a loan in that one subathon at least $20,000. $20,000 to sit and play and video I think games last and last time top he golf. went, I want to say it was like 20 days. His goal right now is to go a whole month. I could bring him out playing softball with me. I could do all kinds of stuff. Straight up. Well, sure. this one, this is the first subathon that he actually went somewhere. The last one, he kind of went and tried it out. And then it's like if the stream crashes and the timer stops, he'll do whatever, and then he'll go back and like add the time onto the thing. Can I hire as my my uh, um, videographer or whatever, and we could go on and do this, and I'll just what? No, that's what I'll do. I'm not following you around for 21, <laughs> 31 days. <laughs> Why I'm good. not? Come you on. just keep your live stream up, and with how? Anymore. I don't know how to do that. Well, but I mean, it's it's. You want me to learn all this in a I month and a half? Cameras all over it. That, that ain't gonna work. No, this guy walks around with. What I masturbate? Everybody would see you. Are you allowed to go to the bathroom? Yeah, he goes to the bathroom. We don't know if he does that stuff. He probably does. But I mean, it's one of those things. Do you think you could do that? Be attached to a camera for twenty-one no, days, wanna. thirty days. But if people are paying you, damn near hundreds. Okay, of- so if I'm gonna pay you twenty thousand dollars. To keep a camera on you for I, a month. I don't think I could do it. I don't. I don't and that's think I that. Do that's it. you that couldn't do it. Obviously, this guy's doing it. He's he's making what some people make in a third of a year in twenty days. I get it. I mean, I I I just again, I don't understand it. And I know I'm not the only one who's listening to us that are thinking the way I'm thinking because I think. Oh no, agreed. So I, I. What are you? You're watching this guy. I would do it. I would do it because I'd, I'd think. I'd be boring people. I'd feel like I'd have to entertain and I don't, I don't want to do well, that. And, see, and I feel like that's where the first two or at least one or two was that he was trying to keep up this persona, trying to keep up this whatever. Cause I mean, when he normally does stream, he only streams for like an hour or two. So then the fact that every moment of every day that, that there's time on that timer, he has to be on, he has to be his persona. And so, I mean, by, I think it was last night he was like, yelling and being rude to people and shit like that but some people like that they like that weird fucking abuse and i just i don't know i I couldn't do it there's no way i think for me why i watch it to be honest is because it's something that i don't have to try to find a let me see how i'm trying to word this ultimately it's there he's gonna be there I know if I can turn on my phone right now in two hours when I get home, 12 hours from now, he's still going to be there. And it's something that I know that's going to be entertaining. Because this guy's not like, he's funny. You know, he has interesting conversations. He's very big into like mental health but and stuff like that. Do you see the irony in this? What? You're not living your life to watch somebody do nothing. But I'm, I am. I'm still living my life. I'm here right now talking to you, and this dude's still over here. When you bore the fuck out of me, I can go back to home I, dog. I, you're, and, you're, you're, do you understand? My, am I talking Zulu here or whatever? I mean, I, am, I, am I the crazy one here? I think I made Mark mad. <laughs> no, no. I, I, I agree with you that, that – but it's, it's the person who sits on the couch, the couch potato that sits and watches TV all day. They're not living their life because they're living in a fantasy world. She's watching a reality show all day long. Pretty much. That, that's that's her thing. 
but you so, could be living your reality. You don't need to be watching this guy. No. But I am. I'm living reality right now. I'm talking okay. and looking we're, at okay. you. Okay, we got to move. Yes, it's, it's, it's <laughs> right. We're not agreeing. Well, no, it. it's, it's just we are distorting really bad. It's fine. Um, no, it, it, and it's just what the world is now that, that like this, this to, to, I don't even know how to say it. There's people that will watch live cams from different parts of the country or, you know, I know there's one. I watch different live cams. (laughs) Yeah. But some, some, what's the difference in that? Some people do that. Because they only do it for an hour. No. Sometimes it's only 15 minutes. <laughs> right. But it's the same thing. I, mean, I know, but that's it. That, that, they're done then. <laughs> yeah, man. And, it, and I know that ain't reality. <laughs> so that's no, I, I, yeah, they're going really good acting. I, I agree with you two to sit and watch that all day. You know, and they better be pretty damn entertaining. Well, let me ask you this, though. You used to listen to music in the car, 100%. Yeah, I still do. Do you, do you still listen to music? Either... Uh, serious or my uh, uh, music. music? Yeah, you still yes. listen to music, okay? They still make music. No, no, no. Yes. Because I'm, I'm saying I've gotten into where I'm listening to podcasts. I'm listening to uh, no, the I'm news a music. lot. Um, Except for just Oliver because Boy. I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> no, just because I, I want to pretend like I'm in the conversation. I don't know. I just want to hear people talk. Plus, he keeps hearing the same music over and over and over. I listen to sports talk radio for about sometimes half hour. Because the, they basically repeat the same program once yeah, an hour. Yeah, and that's so I'll listen to it for 15, 20 minutes, and that's it. But yeah, I'm still a music guy. Okay. See, because I've switched over to podcasts, too. Because, I mean, especially with my job, being in the car as much as I am, I mean, now um, <laughs> they're doing their hand signals and distracting me. But being in the car, not as much anymore because I'm not in the car, mm-hmm. but... Back in the day when I was in the car, I was in the car for six hours straight, you know, no brakes, no nothing. So it's like I got sick of music because I would listen to the same genre for however long. Then and people to well, another channel. I couldn't. I couldn't mess with my phone. I couldn't change it. I couldn't do anything. I had to put on one damn thing and listen to it because of my job. So then people started bringing up podcasts and I started listening to those more and started doing all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I guess for me to listen to a podcast or a book on tape when I'm on the long road trips, when I got to go to Prescott for an hour and a half, I'm going to listen to a podcast or, or a book on tape to learn something, to to not hear the same music over and over. And I'm just wondering, I know I have friends of mine, same thing. They don't listen to music anymore. It's all talk radio, whether to listen to ESPN all day long or Fox News all day long or whoever. I'm just wondering if you would hit that point yet in your no. Old life. <laughs> Do you ever listen to the old time radio shows on Sirius there, There's a perfect one. I haven't. I don't even, I only listen to about four or five channels, on, but I'd love to. I think it'd be kind the of The old time radio show, I'm talking like from the 30s, 40s, and 50s. Oh, they were always fun. Oh, yeah. I grew up with that kind. Of, I would turn it on myself. To be yeah. Honest when, I, when I would drive to the mine, four hour drive to the mine, if Sunday nights was, you know, Twilight Zone, mm-hmm. The Shadow, and all those things that you've heard mentioned on TV but never thought existed. Right. And they make the time go by faster. And she actually got into one on the way back from Tucson once. Yeah, I can't remember what it was about, but I was like, wow, this is actually interesting. But I still, going off of what you literally just said, I think Sirius should make a package where you can pick, like... If An you, a la carte. Yeah. I want to listen to these five stations. Like, I don't I'm need these other ones. That's why they don't, to be honest with you. Yeah. Because it's like, I listen, if I do listen to my Sirius radio, I listen to one, and I pay like $15 a month yeah. for it. And it's yeah. like, mm, that's not enough. I'm paying 21 for 300 something channels and i listen to eight of them yeah that's about right i mean i i think i listen to about five yeah i think it's like when christmas time not trying to go back into christmas since we talked about it all last episode <laughs> um i like when they bring it up or when sirius does theirs because they have all the different varieties of it because i know for radio here in arizona the one that plays christmas music starting like september 17th yeah well it's usually november 1st so that's 99.9 mm-hmm. they'll play the same songs yeah. and it frustrates me because like 10 different people that no them. they won't and every time i listen it's the same song the same version it's like there's so many different ways you Sirius can sing one song holiday channels yeah well with the way with the way um fm radio works is they think people will only listen a maximum of two hours so that's why you get the same songs every two hours because you know 
Mark turned off the radio after two hours. Now Jim's turning on the radio for two hours, and, and that's why you get that repeat thing. Oh, I get that. Absolutely. I like I like serious because if you want to listen to the old classics, you know, like Santa Claus singing here, Santa Claus coming to town, or or whatever. The newer ones like um, Taylor Swift, Taylor, Taylor Swift, Taylor. Faith Hill, you know, Glee. those guys, the Glee, the Glee versions. I will make sure Glee gets mentioned in every episode. <laughs> I didn't mention it in the last one. I we got to record the last one. If they, I'll if edit Glee it. Glee underneath the tree, I'll want to listen. It's by Kelly Clarkson. No, I don't. No, that's no a newer I think one. they did do that one. Underneath the tree? Oh, Kayla is checking it out right now. Let I me fact check song. it. It's my new favorite. It used to be, of course, the Mariah Carey, because I just liked watching her in, her in the snow and her freaking whatever. Ew. But I used, that was my favorite. But now Kelly Clarkson has. It's taken over, taking it. I've always liked that uh, Faith Hill one from The Grinch. Yeah, it's Where are see, you, Christmas? I do Pen- Pentatonix Christmas. Oh, that's oh, good, that's too. A great I like those. Yeah, that's a, oh, that's a classic. We were yeah. talking about Yule Log in the last episode. I put on the Pentatonix Yule Log. Pentatonix and the Yule fucking Log, man. Same thing. Same. Mannheim Steamroller, Trans-Siberian Orchestra. You know. All right, let's, <laughs> let's talk about Halloween. How was Halloween when <laughs> yeah, you guys were kids? Christmas. <laughs> I'm sick no, of talking we, about Christmas. We never decorated for Halloween. No, I mean this whole decorating for Halloween nobody didn't come up till the late nineties, early two thousands. Nobody in our neighborhood did any. They may have thrown no. a cup, some pumpkins out. Yeah, or, pumpkins by the front there, door. But there were no blow ups. There were no lights. Every now no. and then, somebody put up an orange strand of light. That's a but, new millennium thing. That's a new. But millennium. that is never was never a big deal. Favorite costume as a kid? Oh, jeez. What did I go as? Probably a dog. I don't know. You can't remember one Halloween no, costume. There, the there was a Halloween. Yeah, I went with you all the time. So yeah, there was a Halloween. I want to say I somewhere between cowboy. somewhere between eighth and ninth grade. There was a um, party at Tracy's house. I went as a vampire, and someone had come over and done the makeup and everything, and I looked really cool for about thirty minutes. Because here in Arizona, it's still a hundred. Yeah. It's still hundred degrees and. Halloween and just my whole costume sweated off, you know. So what I had this the big one that cape. My dad made me have in the in the garage that nobody. They looked at my shoes and they knew because I was poor. I wasn't allowed good shoes, but I put all that makeup on. I was my dad was too busy oh. uh, boning. Uh, his <laughs> all right, let's not go there. Um, no, and he let me have a party in the garage. Remember? Yeah, I'm trying to remember what that costume was. But are there, knew who are I there was. any pictures of these? I have one as a cowboy when I was like. I six. wish. Okay, now you went as a woman at one point, right? You weren't supposed to tell anybody. <laughs> I feel like that's a tradition. Like, uh, I don't think I ever went as a girl. I thought I was the only one of the four of us that didn't. I remember Joey was the most homely. He was a pretty homely. Well, he looked yeah. like a He had black hair. Episode. Remember Scott? I don't think I, yeah, we thought he was a girl. We, we thought, thought Scott, Scott was, was Scott's mom. Yeah, <laughs> he did yeah, a really weird. good one. I don't think I ever went. I, I think that's you what sure? you should be this year. I don't think I did. Go as a woman this I mean, year. I, the, I my whole thing that, was yeah. I could not find like high heels or anything that would fit my no, feet. I, so. <laughs> I, I never went. Like a baby giraffe and I'm not even fucking <laughs> That is one thing I hate about being tall is that like I want to wear heels because I want to be whatever. And then I'm like, cool, now I'm seven foot. <laughs> and then I can't wear, I'm scared to wear regular <laughs> heels. Wear I have yes. to wear wedges. Like because I'm so scared to wear the like needle nose ones or whatever they're called. Because I'm just afraid that I'm gonna like pull, <laughs> fucking topple <laughs> over. You know, trying. did um? Now, obviously, we've we've been together since fourth grade, so I don't know. Did you? Was there any Halloween traditions or fall traditions or anything in your family that none? There was not even Christmas traditions. Or really, anything. really. So that's really? why I, that's why I've been so big in Christmas because I'm making my own and trying to pass them on to Nick. But I, I mean, I'm trying to get him involved. I think once he has kids, he'd see how hard I work. But. When I was a kid, when, before we moved out here from New York, so up until 10 years old, our our neighbor across the street, Mr. Wall, Jeff was, um, his son was a, a year older than me, but we all played in the neighborhood, you know, back when kids can play outside safely. Yeah. But Mr. Wall would take us to this pumpkin farm, and we go pick a pumpkin, hay rides, and they had a great pumpkin there. And you talk to the great pumpkin, which was, you know, nine years old. That's the coolest thing. The guy's up in the barn, you know, listening to us and everything. But what do you want? <laughs> no, nah, and it was, it was, it was a cool thing. It was a, it was a, definitely a Halloween tradition from my youth. But did you pass it down? Do you go to anything with her for Halloween? We, with kids? we tried. Did you go to the hay patches. Or the we fall tried going to or? um Schnepp Farms a couple of times. It just was so overpriced and commercialized. It wasn't mm-hmm. the wasn't the the what I remember. Halloween back in back east is a lot different because trees are actually losing their leaves and it's a crisp air and it's you know. Yeah. We would always go out trick or treating. Like, oh yeah, as always. a group yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Of course, but, yeah. No, that's something that we 
um, as the cousins all do for the kids, because, I mean, that's all of our lives now, is the children. I still love them. <laughs> um, but we try to do a lot of stuff like that, because then, too, we didn't we didn't do that when we were kids, either, going to the pumpkin patch or going... We Like I said, we tried a couple times, it just wasn't fun. Well, yeah, and I'm just meaning as the family in general, like... <laughs> but our neighborhood was a little different, Jim. We had 30 kids in our neighborhood, so... If we grew kid up every other house. Oh my! I mean, it was. I, I, did Did you grow up on your block? Where because no. on ours, it was seriously. Now they're all moved away. And our street has no trick or treaters. The way our street is shaped yeah, in the neighborhood. Yeah, we don't have any, not a lot of kids because they don't come down here. The colder sex. Yeah. 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 No. When I was a kid, I think there was maybe one other house that I knew of that had kids in it. We in our neighborhood, it was a very older. It wasn't a retirement home. It felt like it damn near because a lot of the houses yeah. we were around were older people. Old, old people. Yeah, no. because And I'm seeing that now because a lot of our houses are starting to go for sale in our neighborhood because a lot of the residents are passing away. It's wow. been that long. We have new neighbors because our neighbor passed away. <laughs> yeah. So what's, so remember we used to get um, like candied apples. On this, oh remember, yeah! And, and Don't see that anymore. No, but that's what we our neighbors would hand it. Can, they would do, wait. That was their thing. They would make candied apples and they would give them away in your bags. And you're like, no, but that's what they would do. Yeah, see, as a kid, we did have. Uh, so what's the weird? Wait, hold on. What was the weirdest thing that you were getting when you trick or treated? A I nickel? Was, no, it, I think one of the weirdest things was either it was like a bag of popcorn or it was like a popcorn ball. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Those, yeah. those those are back from the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> those I think, are probably still being given to you. They're being re-gifted each oh Halloween. Oh, God. No I, no, I don't remember anything super crazy besides like the popcorn thing. I remember as a kid, one of the first houses we were we had to go to, whether parents were with us or not. We had to go to the dentist house trick or treating. So he always gave yeah, the toothbrush. That's how you got your toothbrush. For the <laughs> really? Yeah, that's yeah. how you got the new toothbrush oh, yeah. for the year. That's oh, so yeah. ridiculous. I know, but that's what he handed out. He handed out toothbrush. And well, now dentists have all that buyback candy bullshit. Programs. Yeah, Screw that. Bring it over here. I don't, I, let this diabetic love. Like I that. said, the, the, even even out here from you know ten to when we stopped trick or treating thirteen, fourteen, freshman year, I think was the last year we actually trick or treated. I was a little hungry. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Same. <laughs> See, that's what we do now is we take we take the kids out, or at least we try to. And it was like definitely t- Halloween in 2020 was an experience, just because we were still in the pandemic, oh, yeah. or it was like not coming to an end because it's still not at the end. But you know, we didn't know if we could take the kids out because we didn't know if anyone was going to be handing out candy. So we said, "Eh, let's try it." And there was actually a lot of people, either they would just have like a table, like a six foot table, and then they would be sitting like six feet back from the table and just be like, oh, just take a handful. Or they had it in little baggies or one lady in the neighborhood like made a whole slide thing that she would like drop the candy and it would slide oh, down in their bag. Cool for the effort yeah. so the kids yeah. still had a good time. And I think every person, I don't have kids, obviously, or well, yeah, obviously, because the way I talk sometimes, but I don't have kids, but you know the nieces and nephews it was nice to be have them have a normal experience especially during yeah, that time I think that's that, that's see that's and that's the big thing and i'm sorry i'm going back to my christmas thing so it, well you remember i want memories of these kids to bring so now we're at the point where we have um kids who are like five and now they're like in fact this one kid's so andrea was here the prime example last year and she was moving out during christmas time and the little boy goes uh, i've been here for 10 years and i come see these lights Who's moving? And, and she goes, well, I am. She goes, you're leaving the lights, right? <laughs> so, but that's what I kind of like. So now this year I want to bring it up to, you know, having the whole neighborhood bring their kids. Hey, have some hot shot. Let's take it to another level. That's why I got the sleigh. And that's so holidays are fun with that kind of stuff. So well, we, memories. We used to do that for Halloween when my cousin Timmy was alive. He was Halloween. He was Jack Skeleton, whatever, you know, he was Halloween. Um, so we, one year just decided, let's do a haunted house. And we, my aunt's house at the time was a corner lot. She had a huge front yard, huge driveway, all that kind of stuff. So we built this tiny little, you walk up, get scared, get your candy, and then you walk down. And every year it got bigger and it got bigger because the neighbors loved it. The neighborhood would come out every That's year cool. and we would have people that are like yeah this is our like third or fourth year d- coming out here we really appreciate that you guys do this all this kind of stuff um not to be a downer on that story but 
some it was i think it was a car of teenagers or something like that had paintball guns oh. and they we because we'd have a line of people like it got so big that it got like a two minute kind of thing to go through yeah it was a walk through big plastic uh thick plastic walls so there was an actual walk through that's awesome yeah we had pop-ups we had everything the whole front yard would be blocked off so you couldn't see but we'd have a line of people and um, I wasn't there that year that it happened, unfortunately, but it made it onto the news that people were waiting in line and these people f- freaking shot up the thing with the paintball guns and they hit a little boy. He was like three. Uh. They hit him in the face and I freaking bawled like once I saw the news article and I heard about it and everything like that. And I think that was the last year that we did it That's too bad. because we were just scared. And then unfortunately, my cousin got sick and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, we I love eh, I liked doing the the haunted house towards the beginning when we were doing it, but once it got so big and it became like a production kind of thing, it took the fun out of it for me because sure. I was always in the front having to deal with all these people. And I then can see that. Yeah. You always just have the neighborhood kids who are super shitty sometimes. So it was like, okay, I'm done. This is a job to me now, and it's not fun anymore. Yeah, I haven't hit that yet. So, I mean, like I said, I haven't hit that point yet. I'm But hoping. the whole family would get involved with that. Everyone. All the aunts, the uncles. And that was one thing I really loved because all of – it brought the whole family together. And that's kind of – that's what it, uh, it's about. It doesn't matter what holiday it is. It could be Arbor Day, for God's sakes. Everybody freaking Arbor Day. No, I'm just saying it's about getting together and doing something with family, and then you remember in that – that's what I mean. It doesn't matter what the holiday is. So yeah, because we used to do that with Christmas. Like we'd all New or Christmas Eve was at one place. Everyone show up. Right, here. I remember absolutely all the time. Even In fact, after I went work, to. I don't know when you were little. I've been to the, his Christmas. Your yeah, Christmas. Christmas I miss Christmases like that because it was just we're all together. We're all doing whatever. We're having a good time, and then I don't know. We just unfortunately don't do that anymore. Yeah, Split I want to and... try to, and I want to. I I wish I could, my my son does not share the same uh, love for Christmas as I do, which it kind of sinks. But his his new girlfriend is very much into Christmas, like trees and the two different trees in their apartment and stuff like that. So I'm hoping once she sees our display, she grows on Nick, and Nick starts realizing that hey, my dad wasn't that bad doing what he does for the neighborhood because we, you know, and I love seeing Holly now. Holly is almost like Mrs. Claus. During Christmas time, she leaves. The, she doesn't care how cold it gets in here. She will hear the kids playing in the yard, and she will go out there and hand out candy canes and be like, no, take pictures, do what you want. And this girl, when I first moved in, did not care about Christmas at all, man. Because And so I have grown on her. Now she's like, all right, what are we going to do with the sleigh? How are we going to do this? What are we going to do? And I was scared to tell her. So, so I don't need to make up the couch for you. No. no, no it We're, well. And now she's talking about ideas of how we can... You know, spruce it up to, you know... Where does the sleigh go when you're done with it? We don't know. That's that's the problem with these arches, and the, we don't know... Can't you it. break those arches down, though? Aren't they, it's like, collapsible pain. ones? Yeah, no, you have to screw them in. Oh, there. yeah. Yeah. And I was so gonna we're say, trying to find a shed, but, man, they're expensive. Couldn't so. you do something with the side of your house and enclose it? Well, we could put something over there, and but it's still... Yeah, on that side. But, again, sheds are expensive. They're not cheap, right, man. Right. So it's like... But I didn't think of this when I ordered this stuff. I just, <laughs> <laughs> but see, like once Halloween hits, everything's just downhill for at least me because it's. I never realized when I was younger, but ho- what Halloween and then Thanksgiving's literally like two weeks later. That's well, four. Four. No, it's, it's, it's fourth, not. It's the fourth Thursday. No, it's not. It's two weeks after. It's the fourth no. Thanksgiving. At least that. <laughs> Am I wrong? Here? It's the fourth <laughs> Thursday at Thanksgiving. Every it's two year. weeks later. Because that's how just quick it goes. Ha- Halloween hits, and then all of a sudden, it's... We're Christmas getting, music is playing. We're, no, not even. <laughs> we're getting ready for Thanksgiving, and then Thanksgiving happens, and we have a lot of birthdays around that time, and then straight into Christmas. But I think it's because we do the pumpkin patch, and we do Halloween parties, and then we do Halloween, and then we do whatever for two weeks, trying to regroup from all that shit, and then we go into Thanksgiving, and then we have birthdays. It. No, I wouldn't change Absolutely. it at all. Absolutely, that's what I'm saying. That's what the most important part of that is. So it's, it's just so chaotic. Yeah, it is. It is a very chaotic time. I mean, it starts, like I said, like she said, the Halloween, and then we're two weeks later, we're into your Christmas party. So Christmas literally yeah, does come. You were I'm about. not joking because that's how it goes. It it's is. literally Halloween, and then two weeks later we do something, and then it's Thanksgiving, and then 
Christmas starts, and Christmas is a whole month thing. Oh, because God, buying mine is gifts, November 1st through all the way. Yeah, so. buying gifts, and we go and do Christmas lights. We've done Christmas lights since I was little, and then once my one nephew was born, we've taken him every year so that he can be a part of that as well. So that ends up happening, and then Christmas, my birthday, and then all that kind of stuff. It's fun times, man. That's I, I like. The, I love this time of year. This is probably my favorite five month period of the year every year. So I really do enjoy this because it's just not as hot anymore either. Well, it's not only that. I'm, I'm a big football fan, so of course football starts. The weather cools down. It starts turning into holiday season. So to me, this is you know the best time of year for me. And I think it'll get better now that we're going to be moving our fireside outside to our fireside chats eventually. But uh, we hope you had fun listening to these last three episodes. I mean, are we wrapping it up already? Are we wrapping it up. We are at forty-one minutes without a break. Wow! Pe- people couldn't even take a pause and go to the bathroom or something <laughs> no, like that. I thought that was. I mean, so, thank you, everybody, for listening. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. So when we see you again, it'll be, we'll be talking about Thanksgiving. Yep. Hopefully we'll be outside by the fire. We hope you had a good time listening. We had a good time tonight. Back to the original three, having a good time. I hope you like our guest, but we, uh, we enjoyed this with just the uh, three of us. The big three. Good night, everybody. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time.